world-famous Indian astrologer and spiritual healer in Guyana Master Vishnu. Master Vishnu is a specialist in bringing back loved ones and ex-lovers, an expert in removing black magic, negative energy, and evil spirits. Are you facing problems that go beyond your comprehension? Is there anything that is convenient for progressive life? You may have visited many astrologers but you didn't get your problem solved. Visit once Master Vishnu will business problem, love problem, relationship problem, depression, black magic, marriage problem, education problem, court case, childbirth, witchcraft, negative energy, juju and voodoo, family issues, health problems and more. Through one-on-one -on -one consultation Master Vishnu will solve any kind of problem in within days 100% guarantee. Master Vishnu also offers lifetime protection at all times. Book an appointment at plus 592-632-9943, located in Georgetown, Guyana. this evening sponsored by courts bringing value home the developmental allegiance between Guy and Your top stories this evening sponsored by Courts bringing value home the developmental allegiance between Guy and the Dominican Republic hailed by former US president Bill Clinton, a reparatory justice framework needed to address crime against humanity, Sir Hillary Beckles, government's approval for recruitment of 500 healthcare professionals, disingenuous Dr. Karen Cummings, and France to open embassy in Guyana next year. HGP Nightly News begins now. to our viewers here in Guyana and online. I'm Aletha Grant with the Tuesday 26th March 2024 edition of the HGP Nightly News. At this hour, we will tell you that the 42nd President of the United States, Bill Clinton, has hailed the allegiance between Guyana and the Dominican Republic, saying it is important not only for the two Caribbean nations, but the entire world. The former U.S. President President was speaking at the United Caribbean Forum on Tuesday at the Artichung Conference Center. More details from Daisy Richards. 
Former U.S. President Bill Clinton, speaking during the United Caribbean Forum at the Arthur Chung Conference Center, said that an alliance between Guyana and the Dominican Republic, the DR, is necessary not only to the two nations, but to the entire world. This is a federal region for the whole world, the testing ground because you're ahead of the curve and the adverse consequences of climate change already being manifest. The former president of the United States said now that Guyana is dealing with various sources of wealth, citizens should be cognizant of both the challenges and opportunities. President Clinton also recognized Guyana's commitment to democracy. I would like to say I think you've got a big leg up here because of the commitment you've made to democracy and to the rule of law. He added that developing a more sustainable agriculture sector will generate more income, better nutrition, and better health for citizens, especially in addressing challenges of climate change. These things, if you achieve them in the right way, will cause other people to follow you. And that is important. For AGP Nightly News, I am D.C. Richards. Thank you, Daisy. Meanwhile, President Irfan Ali at the United Carbon Forum on a Tuesday said Guyana is not where it should be in terms of development, but is pleased with international support received towards economic and social advancement. Here again is Daisy Richards. President Irfan Ali at the United Caribbean Forum, hosted at the Artichung Conference Center, said that Guyana is not where he would like it to be in terms of development on the global scale, as compared to the Dominican Republic, the DR. There is definitely a gap where we are and where the best in the world is today. There's a technological gap, there's a human resource gap, there's a services gap, there is a bureaucracy gap and there is a capability and capacity gap. The president highlighted that the gap not only speaks to the development in regards to the government, but also relates to the private sector. He added that utilizing world-class technology, among other methods, to bridge the gap, Guyana will soon be aligned with the rest of the world. So here in Guyana, we are positioning ourselves to build tomorrow today. By that, we have acknowledged that there are gaps, but we've also acknowledged that we don't have the time to work in a straight line manner to bridge those gaps. Ali also added that he would like Guyana to take a lead position in many issues and forging a partnership with the DR, the gaps will be addressed. And we see great synergy in the government and the private sector working together in aligning those synergy and expanding the opportunities. The president said in partnership with the DR Guyana can lead in tourism, agriculture, among other aspects that can generate wealth for all Guyanese. For AGP Nightly News, I am Daisy Richard. Thank you, Daisy. Government's decision to approve the recruitment of over 500 foreign health care workers was described by Shadow Minister of Health Dr. Karen Cummings as disingenuous. Tiana Cole reports. Shadow Health Minister and Opposition Member of Parliament Dr. Karen Cummins on Tuesday via telephone interview with Night City News described the move by the government to import nurses as very disingenuous. Because here we have our own nurses who are willing to work um, if you give them you know, better working conditions, increase in their salaries so that they can have a livable wage you know, and have more disposable income. Dr. Cummins said she believed this action will come with its own challenges, among them a language barrier, and the local nurses will be tasked with training, piloting, and explaining certain processes. Health is important, health as well as we normally would see, but I think that it wasn't carefully planned out. I hope it's not so, I don't want to think it's for political reasons that they're doing this. She added that since there are already nurses in Guyana who are eager to work for a higher income and with the country with less than a million people, there is no need to import 500 international healthcare personnel. I prefer Guyanese here, we are first class citizens, to be better paid, to have better working conditions. And so to, if we do that, the nurses are willing to work, go the extra mile, and so you don't have the need to do that. With the government refusing to increase the salaries of local nurses, 
There has been a large number of nurses chosen to leave their homeland, seeking higher pay. Government in recent times have been recruiting nurses from Cuba and other countries and reportedly paying them more than their local counterparts. A document dated February 5, 2024 and was signed by Minister of Foreign Affairs and International Cooperation, UTAD, was allegedly leaked from the Ghana Embassy in the United States, giving Sigma Engineers Limited in Cooperation permission to recruit 500 healthcare workers. After the document was leaked, the Foreign Affairs Ministry in a press statement said permission was granted following concerns raised both by the public and private sectors on the severe skills shortage in the health sector. The ministry also confirmed that to date, no one has been recruited through Sigma Engineers Limited, Inc., as shortages are currently being filled by personnel from Cuba. The government of Guyana said it remains open to the recruitment of specialized skills which do not currently exist in Guyana from any part of the globe for both public and private sectors. At the end of 2023, the Georgian Public Hospital Cooperation, GPHC, the country's premier health institution, needed some 600 nurses to meet the industry standard. Tiana Co reporting for the AHGP Nightly News. Thank you, Tiana. More news after this break. Stay with us. SNL Electrical Agency believe that a good design begins with a great lighting plan. From ambiance lighting to statement chandeliers. Trendy LED fixtures. We've got it all. Layering your homes with lights is the key to creating spaces that welcome, comfort, and inspire. SNL Electrical Agency, importers and distributors of all electrical lamps, solar lights, cables, circuit breaker panels, AC units, and so much more. SNL Electrical Agency, 179 to 180 Thomas Street, Kitty. Telephone 226 3018, 223 1634. Say goodbye to germs with a free Sterling Super Soap automatic dispenser. That's right, get free equipment and installation of our touch free dispenser. The perfect amount of soap every time ensures clean and germ-free hands. Refilling is quick and easy with four amazing fragrances. Coconut, Sunflower Sunrise, Pink Blossom, and Citrus Zest. Call us on 265-7403. Welcome back. you with the HGP Nightly News. Vice Chancellor of the University of the West Indies, Sir Hilary Beckles, said a reparatory justice framework is needed to address crimes against humanity. Beckles was speaking at the United Nations General Assembly in commemoration of the International Day of Remembrance for the Victims of Slavery and the Transatlantic Trade on Monday. Find out more from Tiana Hall. At the time, Professor Sir Hilary Beckles was addressing the United Nations General Assembly in commemoration of the International Day of Remembrance for the victims of slavery and the transatlantic slave trade. Beckles, the Vice Chancellor of the University of the West Indies, said although history continues to haunt those who are affected, there must be unity similarly to what was demonstrated by our four parents in the 19th century to end enslavement. We must unite today all people of goodwill, all people with a passion for humanity at its finest, to end all massacres of innocent people whose only sin is their demand for freedom 
and for justice. According to Beckles, until it is recognized and accepted that only reparatory justice framework for development can secure sustainable economic, social and moral development, threats to the 21st century has the potential to take us back to the 16th century, where these crimes against humanity were conserved. This 21st century will be the century of reparatory justice. He urged the United Nations as part of the reparatory justice program to recommit to the agenda of decolonization so that crime against humanity, which began in the Caribbean, can finally come to an end. The Caribbean remains one of the few places in the world where there are still colonies. Why do we have colonies remaining at this time in our history? He also stressed that the payment of moral and development reparations for the crime against people of African descent will represent the formation of a new and more equitable global order. Tiana Ko reporting for the HGP Nightly News. The governments of Guyana and France will establish a French embassy in Guyana by 2025. Carice Gonzalez reports. Guyana and France have announced their intention to enhance bilateral relations through the establishment of a French embassy in Guyana. President Irfan Ali on Monday, along with Minister of Europe and Foreign Affairs of the French Republic at State House, engaged in discussions covering a spectrum of issues. Following their meeting, both parties released a joint communique affirming Guyana's acquisition of marine patrol assets from France, further demonstrating their commitment to strengthening bilateral ties, expressing a mutual desire to deepen their connections as neighboring nations and allies. Guyana and France have resolved to inaugurate a French embassy in Guyana in 2025. This action, unlike any seen among EU countries, marked a crucial moment in their diplomatic history. It's set to encourage collaboration in different areas, especially the economy, where French skills are well known. The establishment of the French Embassy will facilitate the issuance of Schengen visas in Guyana, expanding mobility and connectivity. Additionally, the Embassy will bolster relations between Guyana and French Guyana, as well as enhance France's engagement with the Caribbean community, CARICOM. Both nations are committed to strengthening cooperation to ensure security and stability in Guyana Shield, combat organized crime, address climate-related challenges, and protect the Amazon region. To further deepen collaboration, Guyana and France have agreed to establish a joint working group to identify priorities in defense, climate change, food security, infrastructure, technology, and tourism. I am Carice Gonzalez reporting for the EHGP 90 News. Thank you, Carice. The reputed wife of a taxi driver who was shot and killed one month ago is urging the police not to let his killing be recorded as a cold case. Travis J spoke with the grief-stricken woman and filed this report. On February 24, 2024, Eon Holder was shot dead, allegedly during a dispute at the intersection of Rob and Alexander Streets. One month after his killing, there are no answers from the police for his reputed wife, Tiffany Worrell, and she's frustrated by police inaction. Why don't you just put the video out so people can help, citizens can help you if you're stuck? At least up to the point where the man drew the weapon. Exactly. Right. Right. right? But I'm just a pleading with the public, anybody who have information or can help assist in the case to come forward. According to the police, Holder, who was employed by Pretty Posse Taxi Service, was reportedly transporting a vendor when a dispute erupted with another man, who is yet to be identified, over a parking spot. The situation escalated, and the assailant whipped out a gun and shot Holder to the face. Warrell, though, is not buying that story. You shoot him from behind. He blocking your way. Now you shoot him from behind. How come he still go back to his vehicle, drive around your vehicle, that's my husband's vehicle, and go away? And nobody can say the car, number plate, the, what the person look like, which direction they went to, if it's an Indian, black, whatever, nothing. Police have been unable to provide any new answers as to who is responsible for his murder. Warren says that as she copes with the grief, Holder's family is searching for answers. I'm not satisfied on how they're going about investigating this matter. I am not. 
right? And we need justice. Warrell urged the police to not let the killing of her reputed husband go down as another cold case. I spoke to my husband five o'clock that morning, right? To know that by time six, six ten, six fifteen, there's the call again. Contacted on Monday, a source familiar with the investigation told Nightly News that police are still searching for new leads in the case. Travis Chase, HGP Nightly News. Thank you, Travis. More news after this break. Stay with us. Planning a cleanup? We can help. Seavon's Waste Management Skip Bins can be provided for home renovation projects, yard cleanup, or construction project. It's simple. Step one, give us a call. Step two, we put down the bin. Step three, load it up with all of your junk. Step four, we take it away. That's simple. Bins are also available in various sizes, so there is no job that is too big or too small. Call Sivon's Waste Management today at 218-1455. Sash windows from Daffo's. They're fitted with 4mm thick glass with a male and female frame that's easy to join. Comes with a built-in mosquito screen. You can adjust the opening for ventilation to suit yourself. And it has a safety locking mechanism too. Yes, Gaffo's sash windows not only look good, they've got all the great features that make them the best design in windows anywhere. Get Gaffo's sash windows for the perfect fit and finish for your home from the McLuhan Mega Store and Gaffo's outlets of Perica, Means, Land of Canaan, Rose Hall, BV, Kanji, and Diamond. Call 223-9896 for more information anytime. Gaffo's, the name you can trust. Working and studying? Lacking energy and restless? Dr. Chase Nerve Food and Nerve and Blood Tablet and Tonic improve your energy, reduce stress and anxiety, improve immunity, digestion, sleep, and nerve function, fight anemia, and maintain liver function. Dr. Chase contains iron, vitamin C, B1, B12, manganese, liver fraction, olive oil extract, and gentian root. Now, that's a doctor to trust. Dr. Chase. Distributed by Massey Distribution. Welcome back you with the HGP Nightly News as we continue. Vice Chancellor of the University of Ghana, Dr. Paloma Mohamed Martin, announced a number of innovative initiatives to empower students and also taking aim at the school's dropout rate. Caris Gonzalez has that report. Dr. Paloma Mohamed Martin, Vice Chancellor of the University of Guyana, revealed plans to introduce 3D house design training which is set to begin in May. Dr. Mohamed Martin said this will allow students to master house designs within 48 hours. We're introducing into our architecture and civil engineering programs the uh, training to uh, 3D print houses. If you can 3D print a house, you can actually produce a house in about 48 hours at least the outside, the, the walls, as against how many, uh, several months. Additionally, Dr. Martin unveiled a program utilizing virtual reality to impart essential skills to school dropouts, which intentions to launch it soon. Why are we doing this? Because a number of people in the country have been have dropped out of school at a very early age, but that's part of the workforce that we need to recapture and bring back in. Highlighting gender equality, Martin stressed the importance of both males and females securing stable employment. She cited research indicating a significant dropout rate among boys aged 13 and 14. The virtual reality training is poised to enhance practical skills through various technological avenues. How do you do the first basic steps for plumbing, right, using a gaming technology? 
And what it is doing is allowing us to teach people all across the country in different ways. Addressing certification procedures, Dr. Martin explained that trainees would need to complete mandatory practical sessions to obtain certification. This process involves mastery of eight different aspects within the construction field. Reporting for the AHGP 90 News, I am Carice Gonzalez. Thank you, Carice. A driver who allegedly failed to heed a stop light on Sunday is being accused of causing the death of a supervisor of a security firm. Travis Chase has your story. A security supervisor attached to the Atlas Security Service was Monday morning struck down and killed at the intersection of Cummins and Church Street, Georgetown. Dead is 47-year-old Colonel Husbands of Carmichael Street, Georgetown. Traffic police said the accident, which occurred at around 6.15 a.m., involved a motor car, PAF 3166, which was at the time driven by Lee Lawrence Holder of Paradise East Coast Demerara and Husbands Motorcycle CM2986. The police traffic department in summing up the fatal accident said that the car was proceeding north along the western lane of Cummins Street while the motorcycle was proceeding east along the northern drive lane on Church Street. Allegedly, according to the police, as the car and motorcycle approached the intersection at Cummins and Church Street, the driver of the car allegedly failed to heed the stop sign and collided with the motorcycle. As a result, the motorcyclist was flung onto the northern parapet on Church Street badly wounded. EMT personnel were summoned and they observed that Husbands was in a semi-conscious condition. He was then transported to the Georgetown Public Hospital where he was seen and examined by doctors on duty. Around 13 hours Monday, Husbands succumbed to his injuries. His body was taken to the Georgetown Public Hospital's mortuary awaiting an autopsy. The driver of the car remains in police lockups awaiting charges. Travis Chase, HGP Nightly News. Stay tuned for regional news. Are you looking for an exciting Easter? Look no further than Digital Stores for incredible savings and a free Easter surprise. This Easter, Digital is offering an extravagant deal. Purchase the Samsung A05 for just $21,000 or the Samsung A24 for only $39,500 and receive a free guide with your purchase. Make this Easter a memorable one. Visit a Digital Store today and crack open these amazing deals. Digital, the network for everyone everywhere. Visit Gaffro's Ironmongery Department for all your building needs. Bolts and nuts, zinc plated, high tensile, anchor bolts and treaded rods. Package nails for your convenience, screws for wood, metal and concrete. Building a fence, we've got cast iron railheads and decorative fencing, gate slides and pivots, laser and barbed wire. For your carpentry needs, we stock pipe bond, wood glues and evil stick, hasps and staples, hinges, butts, catches and brackets, and a wide selection of modern design cupboard handles and knobs. Secure your property and loved ones with quality Yale products such as padlocks available in several sizes and types. Knobs, lever, deadlocks and decorative door locks. Moving heavy loads is easy with caster wheels and hand trucks that cater for any job. For construction, you've got scaffolding along with ladders, multi-purpose, extended, fiberglass and step ladders too. For everything you need on the one roof, it's Gaffoos, the name you can trust. Step right into the vibrant heart of Guyana with HGPTV's freshest series, Inside Culture. Dive deep into the pulsating core of our spirit and nation as we unravel the captivating stories embedded in our arts, music, sports, and beyond. A journey to nurture your soul and celebrate our rich heritage. Join us on HGPTV, where Inside Culture brings you closer to the heart and soul of Guyana, airing Wednesdays at 7.30 p.m. and rebroadcasting on Sundays. And welcome to Tuesday's edition of the Regional News. We begin with news from Brazil. Brazilian police are investigating a retired general who was far right former President Jair Bolsonaro's running mate. Plan to bring army special forces to the country's capital as part of a plan for a military coup after losing the 2022 election. General Walter, who had been Bolsonaro's defense minister and chief of staff, 
discuss preparing the travel and housing for members of a warfare unit to help ferment a coup in Brazil. According to documents seen by Reuters and two sources with knowledge of the investigation, they say investigators have found Walter playing a key role in a plot led by Bolsonaro to prevent Luis Lula da Silva taking office. The plot was followed by former commanders of the Army and Navy who said they refused to join the conspiracy. Bolsonaro has denied attempting a coup in the days after his election defeat, which he never conceded. He left for the United States to avoid handing the presidential sash to Lula. We tell you now that French President Emmanuel Macron on Monday said the government is seeking to designate new regulated gold mining zones in its South American territory of French Guyana to combat illegal mining and its environmental consequences. In an address from the territory head of a three-day trip to Brazil, Macron said France was considering drafting a plan within three months for areas with important gold reserves. Workers in these areas would be held to sustainable mining rules. Macron said including an existing ban on mercury, a toxic metal small scale and illegal miners used in extraction which leaks into rivers, oceans, forests and spreads to human populations. Illegal miners in the territory release around 1.3 kg of mercury for each kilogram, 2.2 pounds of gold extracted. Worldwide Fund for Nature WWF data showed the program would bar illegal miners, many from neighboring countries from entering these areas and limit their activities. Motivated by rising gold prices, Macron added. And now for some international news. A huge rescue operation is underway for seven people after a major bridge in Baltimore snapped and collapsed after a container ship rammed into it leaving one person in a very serious condition. Two people were pulled from the waters, according to Baltimore Fire Chief James Wallace. There is no indication that the crash was intentional, authorities have said. Wallace confirmed emergency services may be looking for an upward of seven people, but he said that number could change. It was not clear if the two rescued were included in the seven. The vessel appears to have crashed into one of the supports of the Francis Scott Key Bridge. Emergency responders were searching for at least seven people believed to be in the water, Cartwright said, though he said it's too early to know how many people were affected. He called the collapse to develop a mass casualty event. Agencies received emergency calls around 1.30 a.m. reporting that a ship leaving Baltimore had struck a column on the bridge, according to Cartwright. Several vehicles were on the bridge at the time, including one of a size tractor trailer truck. I am Chris Gonzalez. Thank you for watching. The developmental agenda between Guyana and the Dominican Republic hailed by former U.S. President Bill Clinton. A reparative justice framework needed to address crimes against humanity. Sir Hillary Beckles. Government's approval for recruitment of 500 healthcare professionals disingenuous. Dr. Karen Cummings and France to open embassy in Guyana next year. Those are our major headlines for these stories and more, please go to our website. It's www.hgptv.com. I'm Alethe Grant. Thanks for watching.